Hi, I'm Gemma at Wickham Youth for Christ and I'm looking forward this week to be sharing with you my thoughts and reflections on the character of Gideon in the Bible. Gideon's story begins in the book of Judges in chapter 6. It's a time in history where God's people, the Israelites, seesawed from serving God and experiencing peace and prosperity to a time of rebelling and serving other gods, resulting in hardship and defeat against their enemies. In these times of difficulty, God's people would cry out for his help and deliverance, and Gideon was one of the judges that God raised up to help his people. However, where we expect Gideon to have great leadership skills and courage, we instead find a man lacking in confidence that right at the start of this story is threshing wheat in a wine press in secret so it's not taken from him by his enemies. He was a man that when visited by an angel of the Lord and greeted with, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior, questioned God's absence in the time of hardship that they were experiencing. And when the Lord gave him his directive, go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand, responded with his inexperience and inadequacy to do the job. How can I save Israel? Gideon says, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh and I am the least in my father's house. I can really relate to how Gideon was feeling. There have been many times over the last few months where I have felt that I didn't have the experience and training required to do all that God was calling me to do. And like Gideon, I have needed to know that the path I am walking is the right path. But like Gideon's need for a strong dose of encouragement, I also know that God never minds encouraging us and that he does this in so many different ways. I wonder, how does the story of Gideon relate to you? What has God called you to do? And how are you feeling right now in response to that call? I just want to encourage you to spend some time thinking about those questions. You may find it helpful to journal your responses to help you consider and further understand what is it that God is calling you to do. Thanks for listening today.